Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. 2020 is set to break the record for most federal government spending in a single year outside of wartime. But how to pay for all that? Well, some Democrats in Congress have a new proposal called the Make Billionaires Pay Act. It would impose a 60% wealth tax on any American worth at least $1 billion. Now, this differs from the status quo in two key ways. One is that the legislation would apply for one year only, for 2020, rather than as a change to the tax code moving forward in perpetuity. Uh, also, it would tax people's total wealth, their, their entire net worth, rather than just their income for a single year, which is what usually happens, right? That's why you pay your taxes to the IRS every year by April 15th. So the House version was introduced by Minnesota Democrat Ilhan Omar, and the Senate version was introduced by Vermont Independent Bernie Sanders, or, as I like to call him, Bernie Sanders. Now, supporters argue that you know ordinary Americans are struggling right now, big time, as the country's richest person, Jeff Bezos, on July 20th alone, earned $13 billion in a single day. That, that's a real stat. Look it up. Uh, opponents counter that taxing people's total wealth as opposed to just their income would be unconstitutional, a position even many Democrats take. Uh, the Constitution requires that any direct taxes besides income taxes be apportioned by state population, uh, which the wealth tax would not be. Man, the, the Make Billionaires Pay Act. You better not create a bill called the Make Thousandaires Pay Act, or else I'm screwed.